Hello everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm coming to you guys today to show you this gorgeous Christmas journal. She's just packed full. She will soon be going to her new home. She does have a new owner, so I'm super excited for her new owner to receive her. So let's get started and see what she looks like. I do have an eyelet on this side also that you can put your um, binding through, but I chose not to because the cover opens up. So this is what the cover looks like. And then we open her up. And we have a pocket over here. And then we have this darling little girl. She comes out of this pocket. And this is an RRPC. Let me see if I can get the light to stop reflecting. Of this little girl. And it is from 1908. It is authentic. So she just slides right back in there. And then it also opens up over here. And we have another pocket. Now let's get into the actual journal. I have recorded this video, if you guys haven't noticed, um, I have uploaded it to YouTube numerous times, and for whatever reason, it keeps uploading upside down. So, if for some reason this video, which I'm hoping that it doesn't because I'm recording on a new phone, but if it does upload upside down, y'all going to have to just deal with it. But, I researched and found out that for some reason, when you upload a video from, I from an iPhone, it uploads it upside down. So, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. If anybody does, drop some tips below because I'd appreciate it. Okay, so this is the inside. Over here we have, it's um, it was a spool and it has a little bell on it. And I just tied that up over there. And over here we have a pocket and inside of it we have a 1871, this is authentic, document from December 29th. And it is authentic. There is lots of authentic ephemera throughout this entire journal. And isn't that just gorgeous? Look at the handwriting, guys. I just love it. I just thought maybe this, you know, was a receipt, you know, um, from buying Christmas. And then we also have a greeting card that is authentic as well in there. And when we open her up, we have a glassine bag. And this glassine bag is an authentic vintage glassine bag. I just decoupaged it with a napkin. And inside of it, I just have a Christmas postcard. We have some journaling space. There's lots of journaling space. We have another pocket over here. There's nothing behind it. But there's lots of journaling space throughout the entire journal. I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of room to journal as well as plenty of places to tuck stuff, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Over here, this opens up, and you can journal on the inside. And then inside of it is a card that I made that says Believe. And it's just blank on that back. Over here, we have another pocket, and it just says, It's a Wonderful Life with an embellishment. Now, this page, I love it. This is probably one of my favorite pages in the entire journal. A visit to Santa Claus's shop, and this came out of an authentic vintage book. I just love it. It's so pretty. And we have a pocket down here, and then we have another RRPC of these three children standing outside, and they do not look very happy. It's probably because it's cold, I can imagine. I wouldn't be very happy standing outside in the code either. Over here we have, it's from December, an authentic ledger. And it just opens up. It's just a pretty ledger. Over here we have um, a ruffle. And if you guys hear some noise, that's my daughter cleaning upstairs, so I'm sorry. Um, and it, I have it topped off with a button. Over here we have another pocket, and it has Santa... And inside of it is um, an inventory tag. You can get these in my shop. I just flipped it up and made it into a pocket. And it has a Christmas card in it, a vintage Christmas card. And over here, we have another ruffle and a, a C charm for Christmas hanging off of a rusted um, safety pin. I love this doily. Look how it looks upon the up against that page. Isn't that just so pretty? I love it. Over here... Let me show you guys. We have a pocket, and it comes down, and it says a Christmas dream, and then it has a dream charm hanging off of it. And then inside the pocket, we have this card. I'm not sure what kind of card it is, but it's an authentic piece of ephemera, as well as this check from December 27th of 1899. Man, is she ever so loud. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know what she's doing, but it sounds like a herd of elephants walking upstairs. <laughs> My goodness, I wonder if she's doing that on purpose. Anyways, here's a cluster that I made. And then over here, this is an, another authentic um, envelope. And behind it is a tuck spot. I just added this flower. 
and inside of it is some tickets. I'm just going to put those back inside. And then this, it has some grills on it. And I thought maybe the person who made the journal, you know, make believe made the journal, their husband wanted some, um, some grills. Here's the other part of the doily. Over here we have a belly band and inside of it we just have another authentic from 1905 postcard. Now this is another authentic glassine bag and it says needlework on it. I love this bag. I really didn't want to use it, but I did. So, and inside of it is a tag that I made. It's just a tag, nothing real special about that. Let me see if I can there we go. I don't want to rip the page. Over here we have a vintage stamp and it says Christmas on it and just some ruffles along the page. The other side of the 1892 ledger. We have Merry Christmas over here in another pocket and this is a double pocket. You can tuck something right there. And then there's also a pocket back here. And I just tucked this bingo card that I made in there. Over here, we have another little tuck spot. Over here, you can tuck some stuff. And on the other side, we just have a antique um, lace flip. And inside of this, we have a vintage postcard that I backed with some index card. And inside of it, I just have a tag. Over here, we have another tuck spot. And this is an envelope, so it does flip out, and you can tuck some stuff inside of that as well. Over here, we have a double tuck spot. So we have a tuck spot down here, and we have some bells that I hung off of this. And then we have a tuck spot back here with some lace, and this is a 1944, and inside of it is a Christmas card that they sent to somebody. And that's the end of the first signature. Now, my third signature, I'll flip through very quickly, but it is blank. have to explain this. This came from a, a vintage Christmas coloring book, and I just loved it. I had to use it. This is Jingle Bells. Here's a piece of wallpaper. I'll do this quickly. A bunch of journaling space. Like I said, I like to leave the middle signature. That's just kind of my thing that I do. Blank so they can decorate it or journal or do whatever they want to it themselves. Okay, I found out what all the noise was from. They're having play practice upstairs, and it is extremely loud. So, please excuse the loudness. Sorry about that. I didn't realize they were having that tonight. Here is a ledger. It's from December 13th of 1892. There's a whole bunch going on. I guess there's a fire right down the road, and I don't know. So, here's the third signature. And this is a glassine bag that I made with a vintage finds tag. I love that stamp set. Thank you again, Elaine, for getting that for me. We have a tuck spot over here, and then inside we have a postcard. Over here we have a tuck spot, and this does open up. And behind it is a Happy New Year card. Over here is a newspaper, okay? It is from 1993, but it says Christmas Eve of 1968 on the inside, and I just had to use it. I thought it was so pretty, and I just loved how it looked. Over here, we have a pocket, and this is a decoupaged um, paper with some napkin that I made, and over here, we just have a ledger sheet and a tuck spot and another tuck spot right here, and then over here, we just have an antique lace flip. Over here we have a CD case and it says December 25th and inside is this gorgeous little book. I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. I almost didn't put this in here. I did though because I was planning on keeping it for myself and then somebody contacted me and they really wanted it so I sewed it to them. So over here we have a tuck spot right here and then also another tuck spot behind that. So it's a double tuck spot. We just have a cluster over here. 
Over here we have some piano row um, paper and it says we wish you a Merry Christmas. Isn't that so cute? Over here we just have a pocket and we have a December 4th of 1985 um, head. It is authentic as well. And some jingle bells some more. Over here I just have a button card. I'm going to try to hurry up because they're being very loud upstairs. And I have a feeling music's getting ready to start. We have um, some lace topped off with a button and a Merry Christmas card. And behind it, a December 2nd of 1908 check. Here's the center of the signature. Then over here, we just have a library card. It does come out and it flips up as well. So you can journal behind it. Over here, we have a tuck spot, and this is an authentic check that I used. And over here, we just have some antique lace and tatting, and then just two pieces of ephemera on the inside. Over here, we have another lace flip that is some antique lace that I just thought was really pretty, so I incorporated it into the journal. We have the other side of the piano row, some ledger paper. Over here, this is an organ, and I just imagined somebody was wanting that for Christmas, and I made it into a tuck spot as well. And over here, we just have some more lace and a little cluster that I made. And this opens up, and you can have more journaling space. Over here, I just made a glassine bag. This is the other side of that newspaper. And then we have um, a glassing envelope with some tatting on it. And on the inside are just some vocab cards. And that's the journal. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that this uploads properly for you guys so you guys can see it. It was very fun to make. Um, my next journal I think I'm going to do is going to be a French journal. So I'm super excited about that. Um, if you guys could comment and like the video as that helps me out tremendously. Also check out the description below as I have some information there for all of you. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day.